Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has instructed the competent executive bodies to review the mechanisms of applying the value added tax VAT during the trial period. His Majesty the King stressed the need to take into account the needs of citizens through an exemption and a non collection of basic goods and services that affect the income of the citizens. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned to Bahrain today after concluding his visit to the United Arab Emirates, in which he met with the, the Vice President, Prime Minister, and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince and UAE Armed Forces Deputy Supreme Commander, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty discussed a number of topics concerning the historical fraternal ties that the two countries and their people, as well as a number of issues of mutual interest. Upon His Majesty's arrival at Sakhir Air Base, he was received by the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King departed Abu Dhabi earlier today and was seen off by Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and the Board of Trustees Chairman of the Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan Charitable and Humanitarian Foundation Chairman of Abu Dhabi Sports Council, Sheikh Nahyan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, the Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today attended the Isa Royal Military College ceremony to mark the 13th class of commissioned officers of Al Qadisiya Brigade. The Deputy King was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon arrival, the Deputy King was welcomed by the Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF. Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Minister of Defense Affairs Major General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, Bahrain Defense Force Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, and a number of senior BDF officers.
Dat is genoeg, jong. Tactisch. Dat wordt er geen tijd. His Royal Highness then inspected the Guards of Honor. During the ceremony, the Deputy King extended his congratulations to the commissioned officers and praised ASA Royal Military College's training program that has consistently enhanced officers' capabilities. The Deputy King also recognized the role of the college's staff in developing effective training programs. In a speech, the ASA Royal Military College Commandant Major General Abdurrahman Khalifa Al Naimi expressed his appreciation to His Majesty the King and the Deputy King for patronizing the graduation ceremony and thanked the Bahrain Defense Force for continuously supporting the program. The graduate, Mohammed Saleh Al-Alan, also gave opening remarks in which he thanked the Isa Royal Military College's staff on behalf of all officer cadets.
سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي ان كليه عيسى العسكريه الملكيه هي نتاج رؤيه سيدي حضره صاحب الجلاله عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الاعلى حفظه الله ورعاه لاعداد قاده المستقبل من ابناء الوطن الغالي وتجسد تطلعات جلالته لتطوير قواتنا المسلحه وتعزيز قدراتنا العسكريه لحمايه الوطن وصون مكتسباته ولقد اسست الكليه على احدث المناهج ومستجدات الفكر العسكري وذلك من خلال مناهج دراسيه شامله تجمع بين العلوم العسكريه والاكاديميه بحيث تسهم في اعداد اجيال من الضباط المؤهلين عسكريا وفكريا وبدنيا للنهوض بمسؤوليات القياده العسكريه بكل كفاءه واقتدار نحن سيدي جنودك البواصل حماه الوطن وسياجه الامين نجدد العهد والولاء لسيدي حضره صاحب الجلاله الملك حمد بن عيسى ال خليفه عاهل البلاد المفدى القائد الاعلى حفظه الله ورعاه ونعاهد الله بان نظل على العهد عهد الاباء والاجداد نذود عن حياض الوطن ونصون منجزاته ومكتسباته سلام الله على ذروة سنام المجد ابو سلمان زعيم المملكة عوق الخصيم مغيض عدوانة اخونا جلا عريب الساس معدال الدهر لا شان طرف بشته يذري من جفاه الوقت فوطانة اخونا جلا عريب الساس معدال الدهر لا شان طرف بشته يذري من جفاه الوقت ووطانة مليك للعرب منصى وللخايف ذرى وكنان من حمول الزمان الكايدة ما تشكية أمتانا حكيم يحل صعبات الأمور وللعدل ميزان يصون الجار يوم أن القصير يخون جيرانه فرق بد الملوك بطيب راس وقوباس وبان على قمة جبال المجد عرش مثبت أركانه ولا دارت رحل هيجا فهو في مقدم الفرسان ولا من نهر ما قلب العدو ما زل نيشانه The Deputy King then awarded top achievers before the graduate cadets received the college's banner and took their oath.
Then the commandant of the Royal Military College presented His Royal Highness with a commemorative gift. Then the ceremony of uh, handing over the flag of the Royal Military College of Isa from the Al Qadisiyah Brigade to Ahmed Al Fatah Brigade took place. Then the royal order of His Majesty the King was recited and the graduates then took the military service oath and His Royal Highness was bid farewell. وصقلهم وتسليعهم بالمعرفة العسكرية والأكاديمية وغرس فيهم الإيمان بالله والإخلاص للملك وحب الوطن وقد تسلحوا بالعلم والمعرفة مما يؤهلهم ليقود الجنود في الميادين ها هم الخريجون وهم يغادرون الميدان بخطوات واثقة يرتقون سلم المجد لتبدأ بعدها حياة جديدة مليئة بالعمل الذي نظروا أنفسهم له في أعظم مهمة وأنقى رسالة وأشرف ميدان ميدان الجندية
Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, His Highness Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa delivered a diploma certificate in military sciences this morning to the 13th class of commissioned officers of Isa Royal Military College. The ceremony commenced with a performance of the anthem of the BDF Commander-in-Chief and a salute to him by the new cohort of commissioned officers from Ahmed Al Fatih Battalion. This was then followed by an exit of the new cohort and an entrance of the graduates of the 13th class of commissioned officers of al Qadisiyah Brigade, in which UAE, Kuwait, Jordan, Palestine and Yemen participated. After the assembly, the commander-in-chief of the BDF then delivered the diplomas to the graduates. By the end of the ceremony, the commander-in-chief expressed gratitude and appreciation for the keen interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa bin Salman al Khalifa in the affairs of the graduates as well as all affiliates of the BDF. The commander-in-chief also thanked His Royal Highness Deputy King Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa for his diligent interest in the constant improvement of the BDF. The commander-in-chief then expressed thanks and appreciation for all of the college's affiliates for playing a key role in preparing and training officers. The Minister of Defense Affairs, Major General Abdullah bin Hassan al naimi then delivered graduation certificates to the 22nd cohort of commissioned officers in King Hamad Hall in the Sheikh Isa Royal Military College building.
The Council of Representatives held its third meeting of the first ordinary session of the fifth legislative term, which was chaired by the Speaker of the Council, Fouzia bint Abdullah Zainal. Zainal hailed the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the value added tax, the VAT application mechanisms during the trial period, and observe the citizens' needs through the exemption of basic commodities and services. At the beginning of the meeting, the representatives of the Council unanimously approved a statement that praises His Majesty's directions and affirmed that it is incumbent upon the Council's representatives to carry out their supervisory duties. The MPs also agreed after a lengthy discussion to submit an urgent proposal to the government to postpone the application of the value-added tax, the VAT, for one year. The council was then informed of the incoming messages from the government, of which they were 17. The council agreed to forward them to the relevant committees for further study. The council also approved the membership of the representatives to permanent committees in the council. The Minister of Education and Chairman of the Higher Education Council, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, chaired today the Council's 44th meeting and uh, co-congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion of the Kingdom's National Day celebrations. The Council expressed thanks and appreciation to the University of Bahrain's Board of Trustees on the occasion of the University making a number of academic achievements. The President of the Arab Gulf University gave a briefing on the progress in, of the uh, King Abdullah Medical City project. The Council hailed their efforts, uh, which reflect the level of cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. The meeting discussed the General Secretariat's memorandum on the priorities of the higher education in the coming phase. The Council approved the memorandum and entrusted the Secretariat with the implementation of the proposals. The meeting took note of the General Secretariat's memorandum on its implementation of the decision on mainstreaming higher education institutions. The Council was also informed of requests from a number of higher education institutions for accreditation. The Council discussed the Secretariat's memorandum on its report on following up with higher education institutions. The meeting reviewed a memorandum on the follow-up on the implementation of the scientific research regulation by the higher education institutions. The Council also discussed the notes of the National Audit Office on the work of Higher Education Council and directed the Secretariat to comply with the implementation of all observations. The Minister of Education, Majid bin Ali Naimi, hailed the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that call for reviewing the mechanism of applying the value added tax VAT during the trial period and observe the citizens' needs through the exemption of basic commodities and services. The minister underscored that the educational services had been part of a number of services that have been exempted from the VAT. And Naimi noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain is one of the pioneering countries in the field of education provision. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, praised the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa to take into consideration the needs of citizens through exemption of basic goods and services from the application of the value added tax. The Minister of Oil will take all the necessary measures to ensure that no VAT is collected on oil and gas sector and its products. He noted that the Ministry of Oil is ready to ensure that the progress of delivering petroleum products to consumers is smooth after the implementation of the VAT and to apply the exemption on oil oil and gas. The Minister of Oil expressed appreciation about the oil and gas sector's VAT being equal to 0%. The Finance and National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa hailed the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the VAT mechanisms during the trial application period and observe the citizens' need through the exemption of basic commodities and services. The Ministry of Finance and National Economy, as well as the governmental entities concerned with the application of VAT, will implement the royal directives. This came during the meeting held at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy premises in the presence of Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zaid bin Rashid Zayani and Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry BCCI's Deputy Chairman Khalid Najibi. Sheikh Salman is stressed that the importance of continuous communication, consultation and discussion with the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry regarding the VAT mechanisms. He cited the ongoing cooperation and discussion of uh, viewpoints to reach the results that would serve the aspirations and the interest of the homeland and the citizens foremost.
The Finance and National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa affirmed that the ministry will take all measures to ensure that the value added tax to the basic goods and services of the 94 basic food items and the number of services and sectors are exempted under the executive regulation of the VAT law to be implemented on time. He added that the ministry is responsible for maximizing the transparency of all pro procedures relating to the VAT with all concerned parties by providing all necessary information. The minister reiterated that all commercial establishments registered for VAT purposes must place the registration certificate in a visible place for consumers. It must also include the tax amount that will be included in the advertised price. The Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Minister of Finance, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum, today received the Minister of Finance and National Economy in the Kingdom of Bahrain, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the sidelines of his visit to the United Arab Emirates. The Deputy Ruler of Dubai hailed the visit of the Minister, commending bilateral relations. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa praised the historic relations between Bahrain and the UAE in light of the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, noting the bilateral cooperation in the financial and economic fields and the continuous efforts to bolster it for the interests of the two people. The two sides reviewed the course of financial and economic cooperation and means of achieving developmental goals. The Minister of Finance and National Economy also held a meeting with the UAE Minister of Financial Affairs, Abed bin Ahmed, bin Ahmed Al Tayyar, in which a means of enhancing bilateral cooperation has been reviewed and topics of joint interest were discussed. The Minister of Works and Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, hailed the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the value added tax VAT application mechanisms during the trial period and observe the citizens' needs through the exemption of basic commodities and services. The Minister affirmed that all the necessary procedures have been taken to ensure that the value added tax will not affect the cost of building new residential, commercial, and industrial buildings. The Minister also uh, stated uh, that building permits as well as permits to expand existing buildings will, exempt, will be exempted from the tax. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, hailed the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the VAT mechanisms during the trial application period and observe the citizens' needs through the exemption of basic commodities and services. The Minister noted the Ministry's keenness on taking all the required measures not to collect VAT on domestic and international transport services and to cooperate with the concerned authorities during the trial period to apply them. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication added that the Ministry provides various services to companies and individuals in the land transportation field. Health Minister Faiqa Saeed Al Saleh hailed the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the value added tax VAT application mechanisms during the trial period and observe the citizens' need through the exemption of basic commodities and services. She added that the Ministry of Health will take all the necessary measures to ensure that no VAT is collected on health services, including medicines and medical essentials. Al Saleh pointed out that the health sector represents a national priority to serve the citizens and that the Health Ministry exerted all available energies and capabilities to upgrade the quality of health services provided to everyone in the kingdom. The Minister of Health affirmed that the patient's interest comes first and foremost and this is achieved through the Ministry's implementation and application of uh, the modernization plans and projects mainly aimed to uplift the health services provided to everyone. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, hailed the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the value added tax VAT application mechanisms during the trial period and observe the citizens' needs through the exemption of basic commodities and services. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the value added tax VAT mechanisms during the trial phase, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, chaired an emergency meeting with the Consumer Protection Department on price control control procedures and the exemption of basic goods and services from VAT. The Ministry will intensify inspection and control on markets in Bahrain and follow up on market developments daily to extrapo extrapolate the market status and ensure no violations are being committed and no VAT is being collected on exempted products. The Minister affirmed the Ministry's full cooperation and coordination with all government sectors to ensure that the process of implementing VAT is run smoothly.
The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Ramahi, hailed the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to the ministers and other officials to effectively respond to the press and media and for constructive cooperation with the legislative and municipal councils to meet requirements of the citizens' uh, public concern services and vital projects in different governance. Ramahi expressed uh, the pride of the Bahraini people, the press and media in particular, for the directive of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the officials to follow of the open door policy as a fundamental pillar for the promotion of transparency and efficiency in government work. He pointed to the media's commitment to the directives of His Royal Highness in carrying out its national duties on the basis of integrity, objectivity, credibility and responsibility in defending the homeland security and stability. Ar-Rumehe affirmed that the wise policy of His Highness the Prime Minister to fulfill the needs of citizens by following the media or field visits and that reflected positively on the progress of work in development and service projects. The minister also praised the content of the memorandum referred by the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure to the Cabinet on the projects completed and ongoing services, facilities and infrastructures in the Kingdom. Customers or a customer president, uh, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, uh, praised uh, the royal directives of His Majesty uh, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to take into consideration the needs of the Bahraini citizens through exemption of basic goods and services from the application of the value added tax VAT as well as to review the VAT mechanisms during the trial application period, the Customs President affirmed that the Customs Affairs has completed all the preparations for the application of value-added tax at the beginning of the new year. He also noted that the Customs Affairs shall continue developing the electronic clearance system Ufuq or Horizon. Sheikh Ahmed said that the Customs Affairs held a number of sessions that introduce the administrative procedures related to the application of laws and tax regulations regulations in the kingdom. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, lauded the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the value-added tax VAT implementation mechanisms, noting that these directives assert His Majesty's keenness in taking into account the interests of all parties, including the private sector. In this regard, BCCI Deputy Chairman Khad Mohammed Najibi said that upon the royal directives of His Majesty the King, the Chamber held a meeting with Finance and the National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani. The chamber presented its views on the matter that is based on the general interests of all parties. The BCCI Deputy Chairman added that these directives reflect His Majesty's keenness to provide all the necessary implements or elements that restore the vitality of the private sector to play its developmental role. He also said that or affirmed that His Majesty's keenness to enable the national economy to overcome the repercussions of the session it is experiencing due to the difference of circumstances experienced by the global economy. The Chief Executive Officer of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, RIRA, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, hailed the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to review the VAT mechanisms during the trial application period and observe the citizens' needs through the exemption of basic commodities and services. Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa stated that the authority is continuing the process of applying the VAT to ensure that it will not be collected on real estate fees. He also commended the exemption of uh, real estate services from the VAT, which contributes to providing providing more information or investment opportunities in the field. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King to take into consideration the needs of the Bahraini citizens through exemption of basic goods and services from the application of the value-added tax, the VAT, the Central Bank of Bahrain, the CBB, affirms that Article 54 of the Value-Added Tax Law provides that provisions of financial services specified by the regulation shall be exempt from the application of VAT. Therefore, banking transactions will not be subject to VAT either on loan interest deposits or withdrawals from accounts either cash or checks, including withdrawal and deposit through ATMs. A cultural evening was organized by the Indian Embassy welcoming the Indian youth delegation visiting Bahrain under the MOU for cooperation in the field of youth and sports affairs signed between India and Bahrain in the year 2014. More in this report with Hib Abdel Ghaffar. 
Building bridges between our different cultures and deepening the understanding between our communities has become essential, especially among youth, as they are the shapers of the future of the Bahraini Indian ties and the continuation of the strong historic relations and unique bond. The turning point in our relationship was the landmark visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to India in February 2014, which not only identified but sealed diversification and expansion of our relations in diverse fields. The cooperation in youth affairs and sports was one of the areas identified during the visit and an MOU was signed. I am very, very delighted to see that this collaboration has moved since then and there have been several exchange of visits of youth delegation. We would like to welcome the youth delegation who are visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain uh, and it's very important to continue to have such wonderful um, you know, uh, diplomatic uh, uh, cooperation in all sectors and bilateral ties especially when it comes to the youth sector as we know, um, you know bless them today the youth are quite intelligent, um, very much aware as to what's going on around them, uh, interested in so many fields and to have a delegation here to also co coordinate with the youth of the Kingdom of Bahrain uh, is wonderful. <laughs> The cultural evening included Indian classical dance performances, musical performances by the students of the University of Bahrain, and dance performances by the members of the visiting Indian youth delegation. This country is peaceful, this is cool, and uh, uh, he, uh, uh, the person of uh, this country is very cool, very nice. The event welcoming the Indian youth delegation was a great platform for cultural exchange, attended by senior government officials, dignitaries, Bahraini youth delegations and members of the Indian community in Bahrain. Investment in youth strength and the collaboration that we have here between Indian and Bahraini youth strengthens the historic ties between the two friendly countries. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul